speculating on what industry will outperform in the coming years or even decades is a difficult task. Could it be Bitcoin, AI, quantum computing? Who knows? Here we'll take an objective and data-driven approach to outline what asset class will be the best investment and the answer might surprise you. So we'll jump right into it on the Bitcoin relative growth chat we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. Now I know what you're all thinking, how can Bitcoin Magazine Pro have an objective view on what the best investment is? Obviously I'm going to be biased and say it's Bitcoin, but I'm going to be frank, I've always caught a little bit of slack from a lot of people, a lot of views of the channel, just general audience and interactions that I've had, that I'm pretty vocal that I'm going to be taking profit this cycle. I'm going to be rotating into other assets when the time is right. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I know people will say Bitcoin is something that needs to be held forever. But just as a thought experiment, if Bitcoin does overtake the US dollar, suddenly we all start getting paid in Bitcoin. I practically get paid completely in cryptocurrencies. At that point, it's certain times we need to sell. I need to buy food, I need to buy water, I need to buy shelter and clothes and everything. And if we are all getting paid in Bitcoin and crypto, then we're gonna to need to do something with that. We're gonna to need to try and invest that. We're gonna have retirement accounts that we can hopefully earn some interest on. Because again, if we're just sitting on Bitcoin, it'd be great if it just increases in value forever. But there's methods that we can use to try and time the market a little bit better. There's also times where we can really look at other assets and say, you know, this is outperforming. Maybe we are in a bit of a risk off period and people are rotating out of more volatile speculative assets like Bitcoin. So I'm going to be very objective. I am going to be data driven. And when the time comes, which I don't necessarily think, uh, necessarily, sorry, think is now to start scaling out of Bitcoin, I'm going to be doing so. I am going to be scaling out. I'm going to make that very public. But if we look at the Bitcoin relative growth chart that we have here, we're on a bit of a tangent there. We can see that Bitcoin over the past year has been the best performing asset. But we can see there were periods when Tesla was performing better. And if we just go on a five year chart, then we can see there are periods of time, if I remove Bitcoin, where maybe investing in Tesla would have been not so advantageous. We may have looked to something like Apple or the Dow Jones or the S&P 500 or maybe people are looking towards quantum computing or AI or semiconductors or chip makers or whatever it is. If we look at property price in BT as well. Everyone says, I'm going to go into real estate and buy lots of properties and rent them out. We can see property priced in the BTC has just been a terrible investment historically. So what's an easy, simple way to actually try and identify what market may be worth investing in because we can all speculate we can say of course ai is going to take over the world or quantum computing is going to radically change everything in the next decade and while i think both of those statements may be true how can we make sure we are investing in the best industry how can we make sure we are betting on the fastest horse in the race it's easier said than done if i go to trading view here what we can see of course is the bitcoin usd chart here and we can see it's done pretty good over the past few years. We can see we've gone from, even in this cycle, and 15,000 to over $120,000. But we can see there are periods where Bitcoin underperforms. We can see its USD valuation diminishing. Now, if we look at a different chart, rather than just looking at Bitcoin priced in the US dollar, we can actually look at ratio charts, if you like. We can look at Bitcoin priced in other assets. So if we go Bitcoin versus gold, for example, so rather than pricing Bitcoin in USD, which is a depreciating asset due to the inflation rates that we're seeing and per monetary policy, we can see that when Bitcoin's priced in gold, we have obviously still performed incredibly well this cycle. But if we were to draw a high there, we're still beneath the highs that we sat last cycle. If you were to buy Bitcoin at the very peak of the last bull market, which of course is terrible timing, hopefully if you use some of our charts and metrics, you would not have been doing that. But you can see if you would have held till today, you'd have actually been better off buying gold at that point in time and holding tall today. Now, of course, if you can play the cycles even remotely well, then that's kind of irrelevant. But when Bitcoin, when the time is there, it comes time to rotate out of the asset, which I know people are going to hate that I say that, but I am going to be doing that. What assets do we go into? Is it gold? Is the S&P? Is it US tech stocks? Are all these two correlated? Well, on TradingView, there's actually some incredibly great indexes, which I definitely recommend checking out. Now, these are pretty much entirely shares focused and mainly predominantly US shares focused. But if you just search on TradingView SPACs, then these give you all of these indexes for different sub industries. So we can see aerospace, we can see how aerospace engineering stocks are performing and we can see they're done incredibly well. We can go down see airlines, AI, rise of the machines, we can see how is AI doing, we can see over the past few months, 
incredibly well. If we just go on a monthly chart here and zoom out, we can see it's been absolutely exponential since 2016, the returns that we're seeing. This is a logarithmic chart as well. If I turn it off, we can see this index of AI stocks has done incredibly, incredibly well. Now I'll just move myself over here so it's slightly easier to see as well. And what we can do, there's 127 of these. You can go through, try and work out what's best. Is it movies? Is it self-driving cars? Whatever it may be. There's certain industries which we all think might take off, might do incredibly well. But we can use these ratio charts to actually try and gain a better understanding of what is the best asset to rotate in. Because we don't want to just buy something that's going up. We want to buy the thing that's going up the best. We want to buy the best risk-adjusted return asset that's possible. So what I've done is actually compare these charts rather than priced in US dollars to Bitcoin. So if we go to the error chart that we looked at previously, we can see while it's done incredibly well, when priced in, this is actually not Bitcoin, this is Satoshi's because if you divide it by Bitcoin, it's practically just zero for everything. So right now, one of these aerospace indexes, which you can actually buy, it's not an ETF or anything, this is just a trading view index, would be equivalent to 319,000 Satoshi's. But we can see if we just look towards the 2019 start in the, at the start of 2019 then right then it would have cost you about 5.9 million satoshi so we can see this is depreciating and the way that you need to look at these is how many sats can you buy with one of these indexes so this is on a massive downtrend when you price btc versus usd think of it as how many us dollars can you buy with one bitcoin how many sats can you buy with one of these indexes so what i've done is go through all 127 of these and I have to tell you, most of them are massively underperforming Bitcoin. However, a few of them are actually doing surprisingly well. Now, what I've done to actually determine what is performing well is something incredibly simple. Because another thing that I really hope I can instill in a lot of you is I don't just want to outperform in terms of monetary gains. Of course, that's amazing. But for the vast majority of people, you don't want to be trailing through 127 indexes. And then each one of those indexes is made up by potentially a dozen or more stocks monitoring the fundamentals, the technicals of every share in the S&P 500, every index globally on tech stocks, on whatever it may be, any one of these, it takes a huge amount of time and effort. So what I've done is just using incredibly simple, this is just a 200 daily moving average, it gives us a very good indication of what the trend is. If you're looking at credit cards versus Bitcoin or SATs, you can see that when we cross above this 200 daily moving average, it potentially points towards, especially when it starts trending to the upside, that maybe rotating into these assets provides a better risk-adjusted return than holding Bitcoin. Now, these are through Bitcoin bear cycles, of course, so holding most assets would have outperformed Bitcoin when it's going down 80%. But how can we ensure that we're getting the best bang for our buck? So what I did after going through all 127 of these indexes divided by Bitcoin is actually try and identify the best performing ones. So what we can see, this is GreenX. We can see Leisure Stocks are doing pretty good. Mobile Gaming seems to be outperforming Bitcoin recently. However, one of the ones that's really stood out to me is this one, Odd. We can see all the way back since pretty much mid-2024, this has been on a very steady uptrend. So the fact that this is increasing above its 200 daily moving average in indicates to us that not only does it have strength, but it's also shown considerable sustained strength for a long period of time, which gives us some indication that potentially this outperformance could continue. Now, what we can see is if we just zoom out, we can see over the past few years, the performance hasn't been so great. But the fact that we set our lows in April of 2021, and of course there's booms and busts, but generally we've been trending to the upside, is pretty interesting to say the least. Of course we have this big wick to the downside, which does kind of distort the data a little bit, but as well as that we have romance, silver, I'll just zoom in again because on the monthly chart everything looks pretty bad, Bitcoin's been doing very well recently. And then singles, South Africa, surprisingly, potentially, and space stocks, which have recently been doing incredibly well. If you would have bought these a few months ago in May 2025, if you'd have sold one of these rather than buying them, if you'd have sold one of these for Satoshis, you'd have only managed to get 19,000, but now you get 33, 34,000 Satoshis per one of these indexes. Now, one thing that I did notice is there isn't actually a quantum computing index for these. So if we go to the AI one, which gives us some indication of how AI might be performing versus Bitcoin, which of course is one of the most popular things that people are looking towards. How can I maximize my exposure to the AI industry? If we actually look, it's been performing 
pretty poorly. A lot of these AI stocks just haven't really taken off yet. But one interesting thing to note is we're potentially at a point of support. If I just draw a line on there, we can see we may be bottoming out. If we can reclaim this and start really outperforming, then it may be time to consider rotating a small amount of capital into AI. But this is why I like to focus purely on the data because the narrative throughout every social media, all the news publications, most investors and economists are pointing towards AI being this huge revolutionary asset, which I do think it is. But currently this is not reflected in the share price. And the worst thing you can do as an investor is to fall in love and get married to whatever shares you're holding, whatever assets you're holding onto. Because realistically, the only thing that matters is what their price is. Fundamentally, they may look strong. If we're looking at the potential going forward, great. But if the market is not valuing them considerably higher, then the supply and demand economics are not in favor of this con these assets having the potential to go considerably higher. But like I said, there is not currently a quantum computing index. So what I did was actually add to combine ones. So this is IonQ, IBM, and Google, the three leading companies when it comes to quantum computing. And again, if I just go to the daily chart here, we can see recently there has been a fair amount of underperformance in these. They're well below the 200 daily moving average and continuing to trend to the downside. But similar to AI, we can see if we zoom out, it may be forming a potential bottom in price action. As we can see, it's at a point where we usually see a little bit of a bounce in these. So it may be time in the coming weeks and months, again, to consider rotating into these. But another thing you can do is when it comes to maybe eyeing up right, I can see that quantum computing looks like it has some potential. I can see that AI also looks like it has some potential. But these two assets are fairly correlated. They both move in a similar direction. What we need to do is compare them. So this is quantum computing compared to AI. Now, if I go to this chart here, what we can see is quantum computing has vastly outperformed these AI stocks according to the TradingView Sparks Index over the past few years. We can see this has been on a massive uptrend. If I just go to the daily time frame here, just go across, we can see even though we're currently slightly beneath the 200 daily moving average, the trend over the past few years has been notably to the upside. We can see if I just grab this tool here that using this you'd have actually outperformed holding AI stocks by holding these quantum computing stocks when I made this equal weighted index by about 50% so you'd have gained 50% more US dollars holding quantum computing stocks so it's very much worth going through and actually creating these ratio charts now I know what you're saying I titled the video crypto not Bitcoin what we can do is look at total 2ES this is the total crypto market cap excluding stable coins measured in Bitcoin. Now, again, what we can do, go to the monthly chart and see that for the past few years, the trend has been very much to the downside. I know recently, of course, there's been a slight period of overperformance from assets, especially including Ethereum and other smaller market cap, more speculative, volatile cryptocurrencies. But is this a definitive change in trend? Are we about to see a huge sustained overperformance from these assets, even though we're slightly above the 200 daily moving average? Ultimately, until we see a more macro sustained trend, if we see more higher highs and more higher lows in this coming up, then I don't think that this is something that we should consider as a stable asset, something that we need to hold within our portfolios, because ultimately the performance versus Bitcoin over the past few years has just been very much the downtrend. So if we go back to odd versus Sats USD, the one index over the past year and a half or so that has been outperforming Bitcoin, what is actually odd this index but so if i go back to here what we can see is this is trading views on explanation definition of odd which is strange stocks weird public companies so if i scroll down i know this is getting a little bit off tangent from bitcoin magazine pro's usual content but we can see if we scroll down that this has actually mainly been made up of the performance of axon enterprise now i had to actually look up what axon enterprise was because to be honest i just had no idea. And if we just scroll down, what we can see is it is in the aerospace and defense sector. Now, if I go back to trading view, there actually isn't a defense index here. And considering defense stocks such as Plantier, Lockheed Martin have been doing fairly good recently, I created my own index. So this is Lockheed Martin, Plantier, and RTX. These are the biggest defense stocks in the world, the most popular, the most traded. And if we zoom out on the monthly chart, we can see, especially if we turn off logarithmic, that the rise and ascent in these assets has been exponential recently. So the main reason that we've seen odds do incredibly well is because of this one stock, which has pulled this index to the upside on defense stocks. Now, if we actually create this index, we can see it's performed incredibly well. Since its inception in 2021, it's increased by about 150%, far outpacing the returns of the stock market. However, once again, what we can do is just divide this by Bitcoin or Satoshis. See that once again, 
this has been underperforming. Again, maybe at a point where we need to consider potentially rotating into these assets, but even though we have seen some strength in these, ultimately the trend has been to the downsides. And another thing we can do is if we just look to something like Nvidia, which over the past few years has just been doing incredibly well, even outpacing Bitcoin at times. If we just zoom out, we can see that this rise has been meteoric to the upside. It's been absolutely crazy, the returns of Nvidia. But if we just look towards that one stock, Axon, and actually compare Nvidia's performance to that Axon, the stock I'd never even heard of, what we can see is over the past few years, Nvidia's actually underperformed Axon. Of course, there's been bumps and increases and dips and booms, but if you'd have bought Axon in 2002, you'd have outperformed NVIDIA, which is crazy to even fathom. One of the best performing stocks, the biggest, is it the biggest? One of the biggest companies in the world, you'd have outperformed it by holding this unknown aerospace and defense company. Looking at this from an objective and data-driven approach, Bitcoin still looks to be the best risk-adjusted return asset that you can hold. Compared to the S&P 500, compared to all 127 of those indexes, looking at gold, looking at other industries, if you can slightly time Bitcoin's accumulation and distribution, if you are taking profit, which if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine, then you are set to massively outperform a vast majority of investors, not just within Bitcoin, but within all industries. And the thing about Bitcoin is it is entirely unique in the fact that we can actually see within a startling degree of accuracy when the most opportune moments to scale in and scale out of the market are. Because unlike shares, unlike stocks, which could go down 50% on the news of the CEO doing some illegal activities, whatever that may be, arguing with the president on Twitter. We can see the number one thing in Bitcoin that is impacting its price, the supply and demand economics of the network. We can see people accumulating, we can see people profit taking in real time. And when we take action against the majority, when we act as a contrarian based on this data, taking our emotions out of it, there's a huge amount of upside potential. And especially when looking at Bitcoin's returns compared to all of these assets, and given the fact that we can really accurately time our accumulation and potential distribution of the market, for me, there's nothing better to currently be holding than Bitcoin. So just to summarize, speculating on what industry will outperform the rest of the coming years or even decades is easy in theory, but hard in practice. While we fundamentally may believe that AI, quantum computing, certain cryptocurrencies or any other index or stock has the potential to do incredibly well, the truth is, Nobody knows otherwise. We'd all be really rich. It'd be really easy if we could all say, right, AI and quantum computing are going to be the industries that are going to be massively outperformed. And personally, I do think that is the case. But then actually putting your money where your mouth is and provably outperforming is, is incredibly difficult. However, taking an objective and data-driven approach to your investing allows you to rotate into these assets that are performing well, not just against the US dollar, but against other assets using the only data point that really matters, which is their price. And surprise, surprise, I'm including that Bitcoin is the best asset to be holding. I know I'm a little bit biased, but I genuinely did look at this through an objective and data-driven approach. And while I do think that there is the potential over the coming months and potentially years, especially as Bitcoin may be topping out in the not too distant future and we enter a bear market, that there should be assets we should consider rotating into. Right now, I don't think it necessarily is the time. But like I said, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm not going to be looking at balance sheets. I'm not going to be looking at crazy technicals and fundamental factors or taking into account investing gurus. I'm going to be looking at very simple data-driven approaches like this one and just taking the stress out of there. As I said, I like to think that our biggest outperformance in terms of the alpha that we provide at Bitcoin Magazine Pro isn't just monetary, monetary beneficial but simplicity. I want you to save time and using methods like this will help you to do so. If you like this video, then please visit bitcoinmagazinepro.com where our analytics help you to cut through the noise to make informed data-driven decisions about Bitcoin. With over 150 live charts, personalized indicator alerts, in-depth crypto industry reports, API access, and more offer a fraction of the standard industry price. And let me know what industry you're potentially eyeing up, rotating into when the time comes, or do you think that everything I've said here is just awful and you hate me because I'm not fully invested in Bitcoin for eternity. Like I said, at times it makes sense to rotate out with Bitcoin. If we're having to endure 50, 60, 70 plus percent potentially drawdowns during a Bitcoin bear market, I don't want to be holding onto Bitcoin at that point because I want to be rotating out so I can rotate into Bitcoin to accumulate even more Bitcoin for not doing anything. This is what investing is, making money while you sleep. And if I can make more Bitcoin while I sleep, I'm all for it. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and on social media. I look forward to reading and replying to them. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.